Today's the day that we're going to take these styrofoam build deck ICF forms and put them on the wood structure to begin to fab up the ceiling for the root cellar. Now I've been out here for a couple hours already prepping things so things roll smoothly today and I got all the rebar staged in place that way I don't have to travel too far to go get it and then I got the rebar chairs which I'm using bricks for that and that works well and naturally we have our build deck styrofoam insulated concrete forms for the ceiling and those are going to help us build the deck for the root cellar let me show you two details as you can see i have a few of the styrofoam forms that are damaged the truck drivers don't know that when they put their straps on and they ratchet it down it just uh, bites into the icf form the ones that are damaged like this I'm going to put those in a specific spot where this will be hidden and covered with concrete and no harm, no foul. We'll get away with it. So let me show you how we're going to do that. All right, the build deck form is going to overlap on top of the ICF wall. So this bad damaged spot overlaps and rides right on that wall Nobody will see this damaged spot because it will be resting on this wall. Wherever the wood is, the wood will be removed and people will be able to see all of this right here. So something like that, if it's less than two and a half inches, nobody sees it. The next thing that I'd like to show you is about how you attach sheetrock slash drywall to the ceiling when you're using the styrofoam insulated concrete forms as you can see the whole thing is styrofoam and unlike the build block wall forms which have attachment points the build deck icf forms have no attachment points no plastic is embedded inside this and what build deck offers is a c channel that you purchase from build block that snaps on the lower lip of the form. This is attached every two feet, allowing you every 24 inches to have an attachment point that's continuous along the entire seam. They are purchased from Build Block as well when you purchase the Build Deck forms, and they come in two foot chunks. And when you install your Build Deck forms, that's the time to install the C-channel pieces. Now, in my case, I'm not using them. I'm anticipating the humidity is gonna be excessively high in there, and any metal part that has a scratch on it, I'm afraid it's going to rust within time. Three, five, 10 years down the road, I don't want that to happen. Lucky for me, my solution is using Schedule 30 drain pipe. Schedule 30 drain pipe fits in there really nice. Allows me to use a three inch screw to achieve an attachment point. So I'm installing these on the build deck forms that go down the center line of the root cellar because I'm only installing two light fixtures and conduit. And that's my solution for an attachment point. All right, friends, as a reminder, I put blue tape on the ones that I'm putting the Schedule 30 PVC to be used as anchor points for light fixtures and conduit. Getting close, got a little bit down on that end.
I really enjoy working with the build deck forms. This whole project only took about 45 minutes to get all the deck forms laid in place. I purchased these build deck forms at a place called Builders First Source. I needed 51 of them, but they only had two pallets left, and that was a total of 48. They were packed 24 forms per pallet, and I just needed three more. And when I tried to order three more, they told me I needed to purchase a full pallet. And I wasn't prepared to do that as that would be an additional $400. So as you can see here, I'm left with a gap. The forms don't go all the way across. So in order to keep the project moving forward, I'm going to use Owens Corning pink insulation to fill up this gap. All right, friends, I'm all done of cutting and placing the build deck ICF forms. I have it pinched with two by fours because the wall thickness is eight inches. So I temporarily put small pieces of two by four on each side. So this all pinches tight and keeps all these seams closed tight. Once I get probably four or 500 pounds of rebar on top of here, then I could take those two by fours out and that weight of that rebar will hold everything in place. All right, after you cut these caps off, you bring them over to the other side here that's got the holes and you install them in this side to prevent the concrete from going inside these holes. Put your vent down on the bottom because like today we had a lot of rain. There's probably some water inside some of them. So putting the vent on the bottom gives a chance for the water to drain out. They fit pretty snug so I don't think any spray foam insulation is needed to hold them there. Here are some extra details. The deck forms that I purchased are the eight inch thick versions. They also are offered in 10 inch and 12 inch for greater spans. I'm using number six rebar down in the I-beam channel. I'm spanning 10 foot and that gives me 512 pounds of live load per square foot. Building code minimum for a floor span is 40 pounds live load per square foot. All right, friends, I'm getting ready to assemble the air vents on the north wall. I got all my pieces cut and ready to go. And notice how I have marks to show how much penetration into the coupling. So I know I'm uh, where I need to be. It's just not guesswork. Schedule 30, which is three and a quarter inch outside diameter, thin wall, drain pipe. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.